What is up my fellow luxury living friends? I'm back today with another video and it's a little bit on the later side but today I'm gonna be showing you guys what I got for Christmas. For those of you who are new here, my name is Pacey and I do luxury videos, shopping videos, styling videos and just a little bit of beauty so if any of those topics intrigue you, go on down below, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell. Also, one thing before I start, I wanna show how cute this tree is. I am obsessed with my treaty this year. I didn't actually do it myself. Um, I actually had a family friend come help to decorate and this is literally beautiful. Um, this is our second tree. This one is upstairs and we have another one downstairs. It's more like fully green, traditional looking. But yes, I am literally obsessed with it. So, so pretty. Anyway, without further ado, let's go on and get started. Let's start off with the smaller things first. The first thing that I got is this little Valentino. Um, this is their gold clutch. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over social media. So, so cute. I've already seen it, but I haven't fully unboxed it. But this is actually a little clutch where you can put the chain on. I think the chain is in here. And kind of wear this like a little bag but how pretty you can wear it as, like a little necklace too or a little belt bag um i think pr it's perfect for going out at night especially now that we can almost pay with everything with apple pay what you really need is just like a little highlight and some lipstick so yeah i am so so in love with this it's so beautiful i didn't specifically ask for this i've been eyeing it for a while so yep so happy i got this next up we have a couple of smaller items this next one came from chanel and this is the box that it came in really really big so pretty you guys know i love the chanel packaging and this is actually um the shower gel i wanted the body oil but my friend was like i'm sorry the body oil sold out so i got you the next best thing she was so sweet um but this is the shower gel i love how this opens by the way so you twist this and it opens like that how cool is that but anyway this is really really beautiful and it smells of course like chanel number five it smells absolutely divine i'm still eyeing the body oil when it comes back in stock because i feel like i'm such a dry skin person so a body oil is literally what i'll need but this is so so pretty as well and smells amazing next we have a little byredo candle and this is actually from a family friend they know that i'm super hard to get gifts for so a candle i feel like it's always safe but this is what it looks like and it comes in this beautiful box this one is in the scent cotton poplin and it smells literally so, so amazing. I actually haven't really tried out the Byredo scents yet, but this one is so good. It's making me want to try the actual like perfume for it. I think I'm actually going to leave it out because I'm obsessed with this. Next, we have a little bit more Chanel. And this, I actually have not unboxed yet, but I am sure it is cosmetics. So, little ribbon. A lot of samples. <laughs> and then we have here... An eyeshadow quad. This is what it looks like. The plastic thing fell off, so anyway. It's really, really beautiful. Very, very bronzy in color. This was given to me for my parents when I was in Singapore, so love it. The other item is this little guy. This is huge. This is the um, face powder. It's the oversized face powder. I believe these were um, Christmas limited edition pieces, so I am so happy I'm able to get them. But this is what it looks like. Oh my gosh, it is huge. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Oh my god, look at that. This is probably like a bronzer highlighter situation, but it's very, very beautiful. I love this. I love how large it is. So I'm definitely going to start using the eyeshadow and bronzer soon. If you guys want me to show you a little look for these two, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do that. And of course, we have like a gazillion samples, but I'm not going to show you all of these because it's going to bore you. Next up, we can move on to smaller pieces. This is this a little heart-shaped bag from YSL. You guys can guess who gave this to me. I've been wanting a heart-shaped bag for a while now. So of course, I was looking at the ones from Chanel, but those sold out so quickly. And I feel like this little red one is just perfect for the holidays and Valentine's Day. So I'm definitely going to be creating some looks with this little baby. It kind of looks kind of big on the camera, but 
It's actually really like very, very tiny. It's patent leather, it has this gold chain. It probably doesn't really fit anything. <laughs> um, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. So I don't think it's really gonna fit much. I haven't really worn it out though. You guys gotta make sure I wear this. Moving on to some more wintry pieces. I learned how to ski for the first time in Aspen last year, or no, well, I guess two years ago now. And it was so much fun, honestly. I had a blast and I'm not very good, but we are there for the fits. We're there for the vibes. So we're gonna go to Vermont again in a few days. And I think I'm gonna try to go to Stowe and some other places. I would love to go to Switzerland at some point, but enough of me rambling on. The reason why I'm saying all of this is because I got a little ski fit. This is from this brand called Jisoo Snow. I actually had this on my Amazon like favorites list, but this is so, so adorable. Um, it actually looks a lot like the ones from Goldberg. So this is a really, really great dupe. I'm going to do a little review once I actually wear this. But it's this really beautiful like beige camel color. I already have like a white ski suit. So I wanted something that's a little bit different but not too crazy. You guys know we love neutrals here. So I felt like a little neutral tone guy would be adorable. But yeah, it's a one piece. So there's a little belt here. Some pockets, um, I think here and uh pockets on the pan side as well so yeah and i think the bottom is kind of like a little bit of like a bell bottom ish so that the ski boots can actually fit in there i got this in a size extra small and i actually already tried it on it fits perfectly so i would say it's pretty true to size the next item we have here i almost forgot about but it's from prada and it's also another winter item <laughs> so you guys can tell like we're really in the season and I clearly hate winter because I need all these little things to make me happier. This is a little bucket hat but from Prada and it has this like wooly, I don't know, fabric. It's so cute, it's just giving me snow vibes. So anyway, this is of course the Prada triangle here. Um, I believe the Prada triangle is actually supposed to be worn on the side. We can try this on. So this is a size small I believe and it fits me like super snug which i love and this is it with the prada um triangle on the side and then this is what it looks like with the triangle in the front i love the fit of this because it's very fitted it's not going anywhere and it's honestly such a good shape i am obsessed i feel like with this hat we're ready to go skiing we're ready to go to the mountains love 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 this and next up we have something else from chanel i already unpacked this so that it's gonna be easier but this is also a snow winter item and it's these little earmuffs how freaking cute this is like the black and white colorway so I really, really love it. The white one is really, really cute also, but I think the black and white one is a little bit more unique. So that's why I decided that I would prefer to go for this one. And this is what it looks like on with my curly hair. I don't know if it fully works with curly hair or not, but I think with my hair up, it would be really, really cute too. I feel like this is like a total ski vibe and I don't know. It just makes me happy. Let's make sure our hair doesn't look crazy now. Okay, all good. Um, And last but not least, this is from me to me this year and it is the lady dior in this beautiful lambskin in their classic gray color it has a dust bag too but i've already used this oops so i think the dust bag is somewhere else but how stunning is this it is beautiful and this like kind of lightish gold hardware too i brought this out for new year's and for christmas dinner so I'm literally obsessed with it. The chain is of course detachable and I won't go into too, too much of a review because I've already done a video on a Lady Dior in the past. If you guys want me to review this specific one and give you guys a close up and all of that stuff, let me know in the comments below as well. This color, I am just dying for it. I've been wanting this specific colorway for a long time now, so I'm really glad I finally got this. So yes, we did have a really, really fruitful, giftful Christmas and I'm glad I'm able to share all of these pieces with you guys. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite. I think the Dior, the Chanel earmuffs, and the little YSL 
bag here are probably my favorite it's really hard to pick one but if you guys have one favorite let me know down in the comments below and if you guys want me to review any of these pieces makeup wise or um accessories wise in detail let me know as well and that is it guys i'll keep it short and sweet so if you guys have watched all the way to here and you're not subscribed you know what to do go on down below hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell and if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up that will help me out so so much thank you all so much again for watching i hope you guys have an awesome one happy new year and i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.